morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning, you too. How y'all living out there? How y'all doing? Ooh, last Saturday. Yeah, what's going on? Why is this traffic down here? Last Saturday. I hope everything is good in the hood, okay? I said, you know what? I'm going to start off with Nicki Minaj's boyfriend may be <laughs> cheating in the next room. Hey. Making plans to be with you real soon. I think she was in Australia last night. And while she was in Australia, honey, baby daddy was over there creeping with baby mama. So, of course, she started posting on her Instagram. They leave, but they always return. I said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I said, look at this. Look at this mess right here. Out this traffic. What's going on, Las Vegas? Y'all, what's the tea? Why is all these people sitting waiting to get on the freeway? But anyway, um, why Nikki over there in Australia? I think that's why I seen on Instagram. She was in uh, Australia. And somebody said she didn't gain a lot of weight and this, you know, bothering her. Shit, Nikki eating good. And finally, them legs are starting to match up that butt she had shot up. So I don't think it's bothering her. Maybe bothering whoever reported it, but honey, Nikki, good. But her uh, baby daddy is um, over there seeing his uh, ex and the baby mama, whatever she is, and she's beautiful. Oh, that heifer is fine as wine, okay? But anyway, I digress. Next case. Y'all forgot to talk about. Uh, forgot to talk about the young lady that was in the care facility in uh phoenix arizona or arizona and she had been in the facility in uh comat comatose state for 10 years and somebody got her pregnant and she had a baby a little boy and i heard it was an indian tribe they got custody of the little boy but the court has now subpoenaed the workers the workers for dna testing to try to see one of them is the baby daddy so my thing is what if it ain't one of them and can the court do that what if it was somebody that used to work there or <sighs> y'all that's scary you got your loved ones in a care facility a living you know institute you know where we put a lot of our parents and grandparents and people you know that can't care for themselves and rehab and then this young lady that's been over there for 10 years in a coma or vegetarian, vegetate, whatever state, comatosis. And now she has ended up pregnant and had a baby. And they are, they're feeding her through a feeding tube. So I'm wondering, how did someone not notice that she was pregnant? But it just goes to show you these doctors, they don't pay us no mind, honey. You gotta be half dead before you get their attention. And sometimes you can keep telling them because you know what I'm, I'm gonna go there this pulmonary doctor I used to see a doctor he was excellent he knew what was wrong with me when I had an episode it flared up he found out what was wrong he gave me a breathing treatment he put it inside of a breathing machine I took the treatment and the episode would go away well I hadn't had an episode this bad in the last year year and a half maybe two so when I go back to the same doctor you know because his name's still on there he done left the practice he done separated okay he left took my records and i keep telling him what's going on and the doctor the, you know the doctor that's left there is telling me oh i've heard of that before i'm calling you didn't give me the right medication culinary won't feel it that's my insurance and blah 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 anyway make a long story uh short I never got the right medication. The other doctor and him must have fell out. He took forever to release my records. Now he don't accept my insurance. He's a specialist, a pulmonary specialist. Very high to see. Just like y'all suffer in life with uh, money, honey. <laughs> Las Vegas people suffer, so I can't afford, you know, one of his office visits because he's a lung specialist. And then, you know, I'm like, when you released my records, didn't you tell what you did, undoubtedly? No, so I just went ahead to have some more blood work done, whatever, whatnot, long story short, this new office, 
of the old new office because I'm still going to the same office I always went to they are terrible they say I want you to go take blood work they don't give you the paperwork they call and cancel my appointment because I didn't have they didn't have my blood work and never gave me the paperwork I kept asking the young lady what did I need anyway y'all it's not about me long story short they were supposed to fax it. They did. I waited 20 minutes sitting there waiting for them just to fax over blood work at the place where I was to have my blood drawn. That they were supposed to have faxed three weeks ago. I called her. She reassured me it would be there waiting on me. And I just want y'all to know this, this doctor's terrible. But when you have insurance and they say, hey, you have to go down this list and you can only see. A, B, C, D, E, and F that's in this reel. I don't care if y'all have 50,000 culinary members. That's who you have to see. So, you know, what my brother keeps saying, I would just switch doctors. Well, I got maybe two or three more to uh, choose from. And I can't get into them for the next maybe two months. So, it is what it is. But anyway, y'all, R. Kelly done had an anxiety attack. I guess he feel like they <laughs> zoning in on his ass. He done went to the hospital and they say, look, ain't nothing wrong with your ass, but they get ready to get you for messing with all them girls. And I hear some more girls get ready to come out, so you better get your shit together. <laughs> that ain't what they said. But anyway, R. Right, Kelly, they been to the hospital. He have an anxiety attack, so R. Right, Kelly, you better get it together. So you guys, with this government shutdown, this is day number 22. We have went into our 22nd day. This has been the longest ever government shutdown. Back when um, uh, somebody else was president, I want to say it said Clinton, it was only 21 days. So this has been the longest, okay, shutdown. Back when Clinton was president, it was, uh, y'all, I stepped in some oil or something. It was my feet slippery. When Clinton was president, it was 21 days. So now we've had 22 days, okay? Me doing a little research, because I'm really not into politics. What I found out, Section 8 can be affected. You know how they may fund through the government. Whatever federal, say for instance, they may pay some of your rent. I'm not trying to get people into panic but these are the things that I have seen that may be affected not right now but eventually if uh, number 45 don't get his shit together any program you know say for instance you may be living in federally funded places to where they go off your income and they pay so much of your rent head start programs you know children in 3-4 where we put the kids in school at early age and they go to head start that may be affected WIC food stamps, tax returns, and they claim the people are going to be working 12%. 12%. So, you know, it may take a while, but this one we're not understanding. Even if they go back to work today or tomorrow, and I'm not saying things will be shut down. I'm saying it, it will be affected because this is a partial shutdown. Even though they may go back to work today or tomorrow, it's still going to be behind 22 days. Just think about it, okay? Where you go apply for food stamps or maybe something to help pay for something you don't have that government worker there so now even though it may not affect this entity that person's not there to help you so you might as well say is it um affecting the entity homeless security which is tsa workers okay eight hundred thousand employees that's almost one million people this is the first out of the 22 days they have not received a paycheck. Now, they are on furlough. I had to look up furlough, and basically it stated when a government a govern entity is, you know, basically not being paid or what's basically going on right now, and they put them in furlough. In other words, people are supposed to work with them, help them out, and uh, not evict them due to non-payment, okay? I heard for, I should have wrote it down, the definition, because um, I don't like to speak on stuff I don't understand. Oh, I'm supposed to be turning? Ugh, I don't want to turn, but I guess I was over here running my mouth. 
not paying attention. Okay, so it says um, some federal workers received their first zero paycheck this Friday, okay? Zero. Zero dollars, okay? You don't work two weeks and you receive nothing, okay? So it is going into effect, you guys. Yeah, holla, holla, holla. This Friday, because of the government shutdown, and uh, it says, but there is some good news. Furlough means a leave of absence, especially that granted to a member of the armed services. That's not the furlough I'm looking for. In the United States, a furlough is a temporary leave of employees due to special needs of a company, which may be due to economic conditions, the specific employees, or in the economy as a whole. They're closed. So basically, we call it maybe when you take a leave of absence, FMA, not really FMLA, but if you take off and you're sick and you don't have no disability insurance or whatever, whatnot, and you're not getting paid, I guess we could say we're in furlough. I'm just trying to make an example. But um, hit me down in the comments, you guys, so if you can explain furlough to me a little bit better. If you're buying a home, if you can't call the IRS to verify them income tax returns, it's only 12% workers working. You can hang it up. Student loans, okay? Student loans. And uh, I've seen the FDA, agriculture, people that go out and check the food. Tra the Department of Transportation. Now, I didn't get into uh, what that was. So is it uh, transportation? And uh, like I said, Homeland Security and a lot of more things. Like I said, 800000 That's almost a million. When you round it off over to the next number, that's one million people without pay. And uh, me and my brother was having a debate. I don't see them putting people out. No, the banks. He said Wells Fargo is the number one bank that's going to work with people that are mortgage holders. Okay, everybody ain't buying their home. What if I'm renting? Okay, I call the realty company and say, I'm in furlough one, one month. And I say, you're a homeowner, young man. One month, you may say, it's okay. But if we go into the next month, because now that I received the paycheck and I'm so bagged up, now I got to pick and choose what to pay. My kids ain't eating. You know, here in Las Vegas, one month, okay. But I can see homeowners saying, two, three months, no. Can I call the bank and get a furlough? No, you're not a government worker, okay? So it trickles down. Here in Las Vegas, we're culinary members. When we were threatening a strike in the town, 50,000 people were due to walk out on their jobs, okay? They were offering us $200 to $300 per week to pay bills. Don't worry about it. We'll call Nevada Power. We'll call Southwest Gas. Don't worry about it. Two, three hundred dollars a week. I'm supposed to go pay mortgage, rent, utilities, put gas in my car because I live on the opposite side of town to get over here to where right now it doesn't bother me. But I got three hundred dollars. I got to spread. And thank God we would have had that. I think furlough means, and y'all correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, you get nothing at all. So, I don't know. I'm just trying to research it, and it, you know, and I'm praying for everybody. Number 45, you promised Americans and the ones that voted for his ass that you would get the Mexican uh, president to pay for that wall, that border, as you call it, to stop people from coming in, okay? Where they at? The Mexican president say he never said that. Get it together, number 45. Why are American people suffering for some shit? Because your ass can't get what you want. And the uh, GoFundMe, he started, He, I think I seen it for $20 million. They sent people back their money. I guess because he mad he didn't get $5 billion to build the wall. They need to impeach his ass, I'm sorry. And I'm just keeping it 1,000. So, next case. Um, they're threatening it. Real Housewives of Atlanta, they're threatening to get rid of Miss Cynthia and Candy. And uh, this came from Radar Online. And all the stuff that's uh, about celebrity gossip is allegedly. 
But we know Cynthia Bailey does not bring absolutely nothing to the show. She's boring. She's been paid 1.7 million. Candy, 2.2 million. Candy, I'm sorry. That shit you doing this season, it gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta leave. So please don't make it hard for me. Somebody told me, Tiki, you need an intro. Put some beats with it and put on that Tiki. Do you love me? Are you ready? Do your own entry, okay? I said, don't y'all make me think I can sing. <laughs> Before I go, y'all, Missy Elliott has been um, inducted or into the, in other words, they have put Missy Elliott, uh, sorry, uh, Missy Elliott into the, um, the first rapper female to go in the house of fame of the best rappers, y'all. <laughs> read my hand right in other words missy you know how uh, nikki always say i'm number one well nikki well missy has been the first one inducted into the hall of fame basically of rappers <laughs> y'all gonna kill me on that one ah, i've seen it trendy but uh it is what it is missy elliott will become the first female rapper inducted into the songwriters hall of fame there we go miss tinky <laughs> get it right and uh while miss cardi b was on stage yesterday get it how you live boop boop somebody ran up there and served her ass some motherfucking papers and said bitch we need you in court on this day okay <laughs> all right guys y'all follow me over there on instagram tiki44 facebook tiki44 snapchat y'all know i be trying to do it charge it to my head and not my heart i don't know how to watch it and whatever whatnot and whatever's going on in your life baby blessings and blessings and blessings whatever's going on in your life don't let the devil steal your joy okay <laughs> okay get it how you live y'all have a blessed day have a lucky day thanks for sliding through everybody and i appreciate everybody for watching me bye guys